Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Saturday. Happy Sabbath to everybody. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Uh, we have a new update. The 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Central Time advisory is up from NOAA, and it has grown to 65 miles per hour tropical storm, 987 millibars, and moving northwest at 9 miles per hour. Now, I'm showing that this thing is as strong as it's going to get, and we don't have anything to worry about, guys. And I'm also showing that now, according to Euro, which showed the strength of uh, Delta forming right where uh, Gamma's given up, right here towards the, the Mexico. Uh, actually, I show it going towards Monterey still. But it weakens, and then Delta is, is going to be nothing. Uh, even the Euro, the one that showed it the, str the strongest, it's shown it is going to dissipate. So, guys, I, th I don't think so far we have anything to worry about. I'm only going to show you the five days on GFS, but I'm going to show you the full Euro 10 days so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, this is your, your gamma that you're looking at right now. I'm going to show you every six hours up to five days. That way you can see exactly what's going on with this storm. And as you can see, it don't strengthen back up. It does make it a little further uh, into the gulf than before. Before, it was just on the edge, and it just rolled around. But now it's just rolling up a little bit further north, but it gets it gets hit by the shear. It also gets hit uh, by the, the dry air that, that's moving in. So look, this thing is going to go north, and then it's going to shoot west. We do not have anything to worry about from Gamma. It's just going to steady to sit there. It's going to stall out for a couple of days. This is your 60-hour mark right here. And then it's going to move west, and then it's going to move southwest it's going to move away from texas and away from everybody and this is the same thing it showed the other day that it was going towards monterey so monterey keep your heads up i know you i got a sub over there and he, he always asks about monterey it looks like it's going your direction again but it is weakening considerably on its way now let me get you over to the euro now the euro they show it every uh i didn't do the high resolution because it only shows the country but the euro shows every 24 hours so I'm going to go to full 10 days with you, the 240 hours. That way you can see exactly what happens with the euro. The euro shows the same thing, that gamma goes around to the corner, and it stays around and stays low towards, towards Mexico City, just like it did before. And this is delta popping up after five days, 120 hours, and it shows that delta is not a problem. It weakens and goes away. Amen. So that, from what we're showing so far, is going to be gone. This is your gamma. This is it right now, live feed. Actually, last night I was watching it till about 1 a.m. Because I saw that the eye kept trying to form up. So I was checking to see what gamma was trying to do. Now, today is Sabbath. For those that don't, don't practice it, please read your Bible. Today is Sabbath. Okay, it's not Sunday. It is Saturday. And I like to practice getting my, my, my reading strong with our Sabbath. And I'm going to continue our story probably this afternoon if, I'm, if I make an update. I don't think I will make an update. I don't think we have problems from these storms, guys. I think the problems are slowly dissipating. Uh, but if so, I will read it. If not, it will continue tomorrow. Now today, according to Torah, we need to read Leviticus 22, 26, to 2344. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, When a bullock or a sheep or a goat is brought forth, then it shall be seven days under the, the dam, and from the eighth day, and thenceforth it shall be accepted for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And whether it be cow or ewe, ye shall not kill it and her young both in one day. And when ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, offer it at your own will. On the same day it shall be eaten up. Ye shall leave none of it until the morrow. I am the Lord. Therefore shall, shall ye keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. Neither shall ye profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. I am the Lord which hallow you. That brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God, I am the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy, 
convocations. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. In the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. And for those that don't know, unleavened is unsalted bread. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord seven days. And the seventh day is a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I gave unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. And he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. And ye shall offer that day when ye, when ye wave the sheaf and he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the meat offering thereof shall be two tenths deal of the, the fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto the Lord for a sweet savor. And the drink offering thereof shall be of wine, the fourth part of an, of an hen. And ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, until the selfsame day that ye have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statue for ever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the, of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals. Then shall be a fine flour. They shall be, uh, be bacon with leaven. They are the first fruits unto the Lord. And ye shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock and two rams. They shall be for a burnt offering unto the Lord, with their meat offering and their and with their sorry, and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire, of sweet Saviour unto the Lord. Then ye shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for a sin of offering, a sin offering, and two lambs of the first two of the first year for the for a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits for a wave offering before the Lord. With the two lambs they shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. And ye shall proclaim on the selfsame day that it may be a holy convocation unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am the Lord your God. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath and memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Also of the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a, a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement for you better the Lord of God, before the Lord of God. For whosoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that day, same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whosoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. Ye shall do no manner of work, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. 
It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. From even unto even shall ye celebrate your Sabbath. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be in holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be in holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. Therefore, I'm sorry, these are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering and a meat offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything upon his day. Beside the Sabbath of the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offerings, which ye give unto the Lord, also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a Sabbath, and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath. And ye shall, shall take on you first day the, the boughs of goodly trees, branches, and palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees and willows of the brook. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. And ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in booths seven days, and all and then that all, all that are Israelites born shall dwell in booths. That your generations may know that I am that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths. When I when I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord God. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel, the feast of the Lord. Amen, guys. I hope you all have a great day today. God bless every single one of you. I, I truly don't think that we have anything more as far as U.S. Uh, problems with these storms. I know, I know it's all subject to change. So just stay updated. This is what we have so far. This is the newest from Noah. And if you want to check out the, the Torah readings and try and get a little better with your Torah, you see here it tells you that your, your readings for today is Levit Leviticus 22, 26 to 23, 44. It's what I just read. You also have today Numbers 29, 12 through 16. Uh, and then we got Zechariah 14, 1 through, through uh, 24. Also, you got Revelation, Revelations 21, 1 through 7. So if you want to follow that today, follow that. It'd be a good thing for your heart. It is the way that the Lord actually wants us to be, guys. So God bless every single one of you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed Sabbath today. All glory does go to God. Amen.